Hello guys, welcome back to today's video. I am, I am, we're going to start the, the model farm back up again, because I haven't been doing it, because no one was watching it, and I was thinking maybe, hopefully now, I might get a few people to watch it, and since you've last seen, I've had a lot of new models, and I went to Spalding in October, Um so I'm going to show you some of that and some conversions I've done as well. So let's start off down in the yard down here. I've replaced the feed barriers with some uh, 3D printed ones by da David. What's his, oh, what's his name? David. David. So he's his company name's Britain's Farm Models. So there you go, all the sheds out, um, choppers out, uh, they're on maize in a minute, show you. Uh, Renault is just about to leave in a couple minutes with the digger to go on a job, getting some muck out. I know the slurry ban is here but it, you can't really say much because it has to go. So today we've got two, four... Six, seven, eight tankers on the go today. Um, I'll show you them in a minute. Um, over here we've got the T6 parked up. Um, she is she's parked up for a bit. I haven't got much work for her today. The 891S, I think it is. Yeah, um, parked up. The TM's, TM 320's parked up. JCB. 7, 8, 10 is, and the TW35. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're all parked up. Um, maybe doing some work. I think we're going to put the TW35 in storage. Because she's so rare and stuff. So, yeah. Here we've got the Renault 15554 Turbo with the 5-4 Cavill and Plough on. He is just heading out to a field. With the new tractor that the farmer bought, I got this from Spalding Model Show, the Renault 836 Aries. Um, and I've got, they bought a new Harara uh, 4 meter weight fit down the road, so it has to go on the low loader. Um, the plan with this Aries is I'm going to make it into a Renault 710. Because in real life, if I haven't showed you it maybe, but we've got a Renault 710 in real life, and um, we're gonna like gonna take the stickers off because it's exactly the same shape, and just do uh, just do that. It's so gonna have twin beacons on hopefully soon. Need to get a load of bits and stuff. So yeah, there is a, quite a lot of Renaults about today. Um. So yeah, tell me what you think about this tractor and the new power and stuff. And yeah, over here we've got the new, I've got a new 8560. It came with the front lane cage, I've put an A-frame on it in top lane. And then I've put the beacons on as well. And it's got the new arrows on that I've bought as well, Jaskin arrows. Just arrow in the field. Um, paid 25 quid for that. What I thought was a very good deal. Um, tell me what you think about that. I'm thinking of getting a TM150 or 155 at some point. So, yeah, tell me what you think about that. Here we've got the 419S. It's loading up some muck into some neighbouring farm, some contractor fence 724 Vario with the with a Stutzman spreader on. That is another neighbouring's farm. He has come to do some work for this farm because they don't have any arrows. Um, so the lady up here, the our farmer, the farmer who lives in the house here has just popped in the Land Rover. I look what they're doing. See how it's getting on. Um, it's, it's and uh, bought them some lunch and stuff in case they hadn't had any. So yeah. Here we've got the two that neighbour neighbouring farms, Renaults. We've got they've got their one five five fifty four turbo, 
with their NC. 2,500 gallon with the, it's the roadless road one. So he's just filling up the Renault 620 Aries um, with slurry on the major 1500 LGP. Um, they've done loads and loads. They are going absolutely flat out. They are they're trying to get as much out as they can. Um, is the plan really? Because um, the ground is a little bit wet, but it's dry enough. Um, so yeah, they are away. Over here, we've got the class 60, 640 Amazon from the neighbouring farms. Um, it's on um, this Red Rock road tanker that I got off my mate who built it for me. Uh, it's out of one of them old Britain's ones. He's a great mate of mine. He's done a lot of things for me, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, so, yeah. Um, he, they're tanking. I've got the 3650 on another NC and the neighbouring finds voucher on um, a red rock. I need to finish the red rock. I'm going to prime it all, I think, and just respray the whole thing in red. I need to get some primer and red because, as you can see here, I've run out of primer. Um, over here, the 6820 is parked up with these trailers on as you can see i've put some pipes on them and so is the 185 um they're all parked up the others obviously are at silage uh, they are going to some maze tomorrow um they are heading off as you can see there they've been just just been doing some jobs on the neighbors um chopper um Vouchers parked up with the sprayer on. He's been doing a bit of spraying lately, so some ploughing. Um, uh, they have had a, a second hand John Deere mower. I had some trouble with this, so I've put like a little hook and stuff in there, which is dead good. So that's all right now. Redlands parked up Keenan and the other voucher. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to show you some more things that I bought for a Swoldy Model Show, which I'm just keeping under here because I'm running out of room. Bought this to make into a McHale Baylor, like, um, if you go on Model Farm 677, he has done a video on how to make these, and then my mate's done one as well, so that bloke who's made me with a red rock tanker. He's put, like, checker plate there and then a bar. Uh, which I might do, see if he's got any spare. I've always had the cattle lorry, but it's balding. I bought this box. I'm going to, Dave Towers now, that's his name. Uh, the one who got the hurdles off. He does a load of Britain's parts. Oh, oh it's just come off a bit because this is a bit broken. So you can see it's got both the gates. It's got a few cracks in, but me and my dad are going to fix it. As you can see here, it's missing the hook. So we're going to fix all that. It's going to take a bit of work, and then we're going to get a back door. Um, I need to get some cabs for some of my old Britain's tractors, because I've got loads and loads. Um, and over here, I've got just my normal stuff. And I've got my uh, got a new grain trailer. Tra trailers Mation. It's Britain's. Never really seen these before. Um, looked like a great trailer. Paid 15 quid for that, which I thought was quite a good deal. Um, I think I told you about my mate in Ireland. So, well, he's done me a load of stickers for my tractors. So, yeah, here we've got a Fence 7 on 6 Vario that my mate's got me as well. It's all got jewels on, so hopefully, it's our beacons at some point. And it's gonna, it's had a full respray. And it's going to, at some point, I'm going to get, I've got but I've bought, got some else as well, actually. I'll show you in a minute. I'll just put that back. Sorry if it's a bit dodgy recording. That's just some of the stuff I've always had. Um, my mate as well has given me this. Um, 
See, Drew, we're going to fit it. I'm going to respray this to a different make. It's practically going to like fit on the back of there. That is a project I will be doing soon. Uh, everything here is just normal, realistically, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I bought from Dave Towers as well. I bought a silage top for one of these and a back door. I need to prime this. I thought I'd have a go, but it's turned out a bit bad, so I need to get some primer to just go with them other two I've got. I bought a new Sumo weight rock for the 7530. And you're going to ask me, Seth, how have I done that? How am I going to fit that? Well, you know, I'm going to show you in a minute. But, you know, I forgot. <laughs> I didn't show you these. <laughs> um... It's got six nine twenty S on an NC tanker as well, um, and then we've got the class nine fifty Arizon from the neighbours. Uh, with that, right. So I've got to be quick. I've got no storage. So we've got the seven five thirty new conversion, as you can see from linkage on. I haven't glued it on. I've cut the end off of one of the Britain's front linkages and glued it on so I could take it off. Uh, got the beacons and stuff. It's got the just on, and then we've got the, the seven nine thirty that they fixed um, on there. The class is uh, chopper. He's just pulled in because so it's fell off the header. Um, so he's just come to see and fit it back on. Uh, we've got the two ten R. He's on a just as well, and then we've got this. Oh God, we've got this massive seven S one ninety with a book. With the new book rake on I've got, it just won't hold it up very well. It does, I've just banged this a bit, so it's fell off. It's got weight on the back. So that's all for today's video, guys. So thanks for watching, and bye for now.